Good morning, everyone. Paul Duncan here with Gamut Edge. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're looking at for Friday, February 11th. Anticipating volatility today, uh, perhaps push to the upside. You'll see that here in a second, but uh, nevertheless, increased volatility. First and foremost, start with the market assessment. Read Taylor's market view from last night. Uh, risk off yesterday, no question. Uh, we need to recover from that. From a short-term perspective, the tick models are all risk off, uh, no question. Uh, protect your profits if you haven't. Increased volatility is coming and we don't know which way we're gonna go. Gamma setups indicate though that we could have a possible rally next week. We have a lot of gamma coming off today. Uh, we're right between the goalposts. So if puts are monetized today on the zero DTE and calls are open, uh, that could set the stage for, for potentially making another run up to 46. Medium term, we're still experiencing terrible breadth. And at the end of the day, this is uh, not, not good, not constructive for the medium term. Longer term, I would say we're weakly bullish. We are somewhat recovering, uh, but downward sloping cumulative tick here. Although it is uh, reversing, it's still downward. Overnight, the ESH uh, traded down. <clears throat> it's moved up in the pre-market here. Uh, the gamma levels are unchanged. The VIX and the volatility of VIX are elevated relative to yesterday. Uh, they are, the VIX is dropping, uh, new sensitive. Some discussion this morning that negated uh, Bollard's comments yesterday could be driving part of that. The SPX levels, uh, we flipped back to a negative gamma uh, regime yesterday uh, with last night, or with yesterday's action and last night. So that brings the volatility back into the picture. We're right at the zeros though, so we're in this noisy transition zone. I will note that by several measures, our zeros have moved up within the overall complexes, uh, SPX, PM, SPX, AM, and the ES. So uh, I do think short-term SPX gamma uh, points us uh, potentially to moving up. Market status by the cumulative tick. Um, yesterday was a bad day. Here you can see the breadth uh, increasing 52-week uh, new lows uh, during the day, starting from uh, the statement, uh, Bollard's statement on down. We just had serious risk off. The magnitudes relative to the unfiltered cumulative tick are about the same. That's a serious domination by the big boys and girls that they're getting out. They're taking risk off the table. This characteristic right here, we call it when you're down, basically it's just steady selling, uh, selling all day long. And you can see that in, reflected here in the tick model. Uh, I do think the uptrend that we're seeing in the tick is under serious pressure and we have to watch that. From the ES perspective, uh, we did see the zeros move up a little bit. Overall, the structure is intact, uh, has not moved. Uh, that's very, very good because of what happened yesterday and the overnight session, we still do see VIX as elevated. The SPXW, which is the PM settled levels for today, uh, you can see the goalpost here at 4,600, as well as down here at 4,465. This is a very short term view uh, transition, uh, 4,555, and you can see that held a couple times yesterday. Uh, the zero is sitting here at uh, 4,530. Uh, that's a flip point. Uh, however you want to describe that. And then we've got uh, the overall levels that you see here. I do think we're probably going to just bounce around in these, these areas. I don't see us going any lower than 44.65, not, certainly not into the close, and I don't see us going over 4,600 into the close. The overall combo uh, levels for today, uh, the range is denoted here in this red box. Uh, you can see we do have elevated expected move uh, calculated here uh, a little after 8 o'clock this morning. So I would say do expect uh, increased volatility either direction here today. We are sitting right here at 45.04. We probably will gap up into the morning open, adjust these as necessary. The range still applies, but gap these, uh, these will have to be moved up or down depending on when the open is. The zero DTE is gonna play a role today. Um, overall, we have a net negative uh, expiry condition, but it's not very strong. So circle one, circle two tell you that uh, um, the overall move today from an expiry, which you can see at circle three here, uh, indicating we only have one tile selected is, is clearly telling us that uh, uh, that things are, are heading down. Um, 
here in uh, circle four and five, those are the what I would consider the goalposts for uh, the zero DTE. And then here in the box six area, you can see kind of the transition range. I would not be surprised if we came back down to this, although I do see the potential to push upwards towards 46, especially if we're into the close and we're above 4570. I actually could see us pushing up towards this area here, certainly no higher into the close of above uh, 4,600. A big change from yesterday is that we have introduced a huge amount of negative gamma below spot price. Yesterday we had virtually zero because we had such a big, big level of, of calls, which uh, probably pushed us down. So here today, uh, depending on how the zero DTE works and, and what people do with those puts, uh, we could actually have the setup for next week of having a little bit of a rally, especially if we couple this with the decreasing volatility. The overall SPX, uh, the condition and key levels, we're back to a negative gamma condition. It's circle one here. It's fairly strong. This is a fairly strong negative gamma level. We're gonna have to make some serious process or progress here to get out of this. Uh, key level COI up here at 47, uh, also up here at 4,700, uh, we have plus GEX. Down here at 4,400, we have minus GEX. So the two goal posts for the mothership $6.1 trillion complex uh, is uh, still remains, has not changed, 4,700, 4,400, and we're going to play in this for, for a while. My short-term bias is up due to the shifting zeros that I, I mentioned earlier. I think we need to watch that. And watch this zero at 4530, which is the top of the transition range. Let's see what happens with that zero. If we can get above that zero, we'll probably push higher. So thanks everyone for, for watching. Appreciate all the support, all the comments. Uh, keep them coming. Uh, you can reach us here at the links that you're, uh, you're seeing on your screen. Uh, make it a good Friday.